My dream as an artist has always been, since I was a kid, to be able to draw anything I can imagine. To draw from imagination. And I would think most artists share this dream. It's why we practice so much all the time to draw well, whatever comes to mind. It's 100% achievable, but there are steps to follow leading up to it. And well, that's exactly what we're gonna learn in this episode of YouTube Art. All right, class is in session. Pay attention. Now, let's start by looking at some requirements. What are the skills that you need to actually make that possible? Drawing anything from imagination. The first requirement is, well, to be able to drop basic geometric volumes in perspective. The second requirement is to get good at placing those same volumes, but in space and in relation to other volumes. Now, to draw volumes in space will obviously require that you have some sort of perspective knowledge. It's important that you understand one point, two point and three point perspective and that you can draw like basic volumes in either of those three. I have another class for that in case you need a refresher. So I'll put the link in the video description. But if your simple volume drawings aren't quite there yet, you know, they need a little more work. One thing that you can practice is to draw simple boxes in perspective and then stack them on top of one another. And then from that, you can also extrude some parts, pull some shapes out. That's harder. Now, I'll be drawing a head today, but real quick, before I do that, I want to show you the power of stacking boxes and just how much you can do with that. On the right here, we have just like a simple stack, but what if we try to draw a full character? Level one might be something like that. Super simple, right? Another stack of boxes, but by introducing cylinders now and by arranging the boxes a little differently, we get a rough mannequin. That is the power of geometric shapes right there. All right, as I said, I'll be drawing ahead today in the three different levels. Of course, starting with level one, because when learning to draw anything from imagination, that's the starting point. That's where you begin. Now, it doesn't have to be ahead. It could be anything else, really. The same logic would still apply. For example, if I were drawing a full body or drawing something more complex, like, a, like an engine or a building, whatever. All the same, we're going to be using simple geometric volumes. Let's go. All right, first, let's start with a box. And this is level one, so it's going to be pretty easy. We're not going to be deforming the boxes much at all. And so at this level, you're really just getting real good at stacking boxes. We can start by maybe like rounding out this box here to give it like a, a rounder shape. Here at the bottom, we're going to add a cylinder for the neck, something like that. So the front of it would be that right here. And then the rest of that box can split that in half as well. So if you'll notice, I have a lot of different cuts in my shapes. Basically anything that you can use to, to help situate your lines in space. Now, obviously this doesn't look too much like a face, but uh, let's add some eyes on here. Maybe on a separate layer. There you go, one eye, two eye. I'm just gonna draw a line for where the eyebrows would be, the nose and the mouth. And just like that, we have a cube person. Of course, the face feels a little flat here, but uh, if we consider that the eyes are usually resting in their sockets a little, a little deeper in the face, we can push those back here. Boink. And then we can just fine tune the line here for the nose, add some eyebrows. But yeah, this is a uh, level one right here. So basically just a slightly more detailed geometric shape. But I would consider this here level one as well. Now you might be looking at this and, and thinking to yourself, well, this character doesn't even have ears. Well, you can figure this out. So let's try to find like the center here on the side of the face. X marks the spot. And then we can line them up with the top of the eyes here. And so maybe we would end up with a square like this. Then we can then extrude a little bit from behind there. Give the back here a little thickness. So that we're left with this you know, kind of like triangular prism. And there we have it. Level one done. Now, here's the tricky part. How do we go from level one to level two? What's required? How do you get the necessary XP points? Well, it's going to be two different things. First one, learn some theory. Not any theory, the theory about what you're trying to draw. Usually the theory will be the kind of stuff where you learn how to construct in a little bit more details than for level one. It's what I like to call the recipe. So basically trying to learn the recipe for drawing heads. And then of course, supplementing that with a ton of references. If we were practicing drawing hands, it would be how to construct a hand and looking at hand references. But in my case today, drawing a head, I'll just want to follow the typical 
head construction method. I show how to do all of that in my program, but I also do show a little bit in a video that I made not too long ago showing how to draw faces. So you can have a look at that if you're interested in that particular recipe. But yeah, this is what level two would look like. So obviously a lot more detailed already. Boxman is gone and he's been replaced by a simple head construction that I'm now able to do because I've practiced this a bunch, first drawing the level one in many different angles, in all kinds of perspectives, then learning some theory, and then proving my visual library with a bunch of relevant references. Practice, 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 and now you're level two. And I know I'm going through this pretty quick. YouTube doesn't really like long videos, but worry not. If you need more help, not only on perspective, but on anatomy, coloring, design, storytelling, shading, animal drawing, a complete art education, basically. Well, you should check out my art program with the link in the video description. It's a massive course meant to fully replace university or college. And I have a massive spring discount to celebrate reaching 22,000 students enrolled. So hit that link down below to learn more and join our awesome art community. I don't want you to miss out on this. All right, so my plug is over. Where were we at? Oh, right. To go from here and level up to level three is going to be the biggest jump yet, but it's still somewhat more of the same because we're still looking to improve our visual library. That's the part that makes this possible at all. For level one, you need a very limited visual library. If you know what a box and a cylinder look like, you're all set. You're clearing the requirements. For level two, your visual library needs to include also how to construct the thing that you're trying to draw and already have a little bit more knowledge about the real structure and in this case, the anatomy of the body part. To make the jump to level three, it'll just include a bunch of portrait drawings from reference, of course, always, always from reference. Every time you use a reference to study, you learn something new. You add something new to your visual library. And so it's just a matter of doing that a ton more, learning what the different facial features look like in a bunch of different angles, the differences maybe between male and females, different races perhaps, the structure of the skull, all the different muscles in the face, where the folds happen, or where you find the wrinkles in the skin, all of that stuff. And since we have the base already, I have my construction, well, now all I have to do is still following the same box, you know, following the same perspective. I'm just going to go ahead and add details, basically, and hence my construction. As you can see, I'm following all the same lines. So nothing new here. It's all the same foundation. I'm just adding on to it. But yeah, that is my level three right here. But yeah, there you have it. This is the process. This is how you're able to draw anything from imagination. Of course, the fine print here is that you have to do this process for everything new that you're trying to draw from imagination. So at the beginning, probably it's going to be a little bit limited, but as you repeat this process over and over again, drawing multiple different things as you do, your visual library will improve. You'll be able to level up more of the different types of drawings that you like. And once again, I did this for one head, but the same process would still apply for bodies, for vehicles, for buildings, for props, for anything. This is how you learn to draw anything from imagination. So yeah, anyways, kind of looks like me, except not as dashing. That is going to be it for this week's tutorial. I hope this was helpful. And of course, if you want to, uh, if you want to use the same brush that I've been using here, if you, if you thought, you know, that it was just, just the best because it is, you can get my brush back for absolutely free in the top right corner of the screen right here and down in the description below. Now, I do hope that you will join us next week for another episode of the YouTube art school. Maybe tell a friend, tell your mom, tell your dog. <laughs>